The length of the D for driver's medical examination and its contents may vary depending on the health of the candidate and what the medical professional deems relevant to test at the time of the medical. This video serves as a rough guide as to what to expect during a D for driver's medical and has been shortened for the purposes of this video. Hi there, my name is Luke and I am a HDV driver and video content creator. I've been driving trucks and creating videos now for over half a decade and one of the most common questions I get asked is how do you get your HDV license? Well, the first thing you need to do is apply for your provisional license and you do that by getting your D2 and D4 form. The D2 form is a form that you fill in by yourself, contains information such as your name, address, date of birth. The D4 form is a medical form and must be filled in by a qualified doctor. And that is what we are doing here today, meet Lee. Lee is my 29 year old brother. Like me, our father and our grandfather, he wants to become a HDV driver. And we're here today not only to have his medical done, but to also show you at home exactly what happens so you have nothing to worry about yourself. We are here in Swindon, just one of 85 locations available nationwide from the UK's largest driver medical provider, D for Drivers. So you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. I've never had a medical before, this is my first time. Hopefully it'd be uh, straightforward. I don't know what to expect, but I have done a bit of reading online. It seems pretty straightforward. I want to have a medical because I want to follow in my brother and my father's and my grandfather's footsteps. I understand you need a medical just to make sure you're safe at driving and you're not under any influence of alcohol, drugs, or you have any heart problems or anything like that. Lee to come in this way. Uh, my name is Dr. Marizuan. Are you here for your medicals? I am indeed, okay. yeah. Okay, um, would you like to come to my room? Yeah. Um, this is an examination room. This is an examination room. My name is Dr. Marizuan. Um, I have been practicing medicine for the last 17 years. I have completed more than 1,000 medicals. I have been working uh, with D4 drivers for the last uh, or nearly two years. Um, it's a company that is based in Shrewsbury and uh, it's been a good experience uh, meeting a lot of good people. Um, the company itself has been treating me well. The HGV Medicals involves um, so us uh, doing in general two things. One is the eye test where we check uh, the uh, standard of uh, the vision using a standardized Snellen chart and the other one is uh, the medical uh, questionnaires. We'll be asking a lot of sort of quest uh, questions regarding uh, the the client's uh, medical issues, or um, and uh, it's just a screening tool um, so that we can know the state of their health. It will take about ten to twenty minutes, and um, we uh, also record um, all the medication that the client is taking. We do blood pressure and answer any questions that is sort of um, asked by the clients. Right, Lee, um, may I just ask you to just undo your mask quickly? I uh, just want to look at your face because I need to verify you with a picture. Can you verify your date of birth, please? Yeah, it's 25th of the 9th, 1991. Perfect, okay, I'm just going to write your name and everything here. So, uh, yeah. Is this the first time you having this medical? It is, yeah. Okay. So I'll explain to you what we're going to do today uh, and um, all I want you to do is not to get nervous with this. This is always the, the, the most difficult bit so of <laughs> filling in the form. My first question is, um, do you smoke? Yes. Yes. Uh, do you drink alcohol? Occasionally. Occasionally. What is occasionally? Uh, only special occasions. Okay, only special occasions. Yeah. So how much would you say you drink per week on average? Uh, per week, probably none. None? No. Okay, it's so... special occasions. Special occasion. Okay, that's fine. Okay, the, the smoking, how many do you smoke per day? Uh, probably 10 a day. 10 a day, okay. I, I, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not meant to tell you off uh, with, with smoking, but you don't you understand yeah. where I'm coming from. Yeah. But I'm not going to do that today, um, but we're just going to concentrate on your medical. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, the next question. Um, what's your weight? Uh, 12 stone. 12 stone, okay. I'm just going to convert that into... Uh, the new number, so that's about 76 kilograms. Yeah. And what's your height? 
Lee? Uh, 5 foot 11. 5 foot 11, that is 180 centimeter? Yeah. Yeah, according to my computer. Yeah. <laughs> right, so uh, as I explained, uh, uh, I'm going to explain to you uh, what we're going to do today. So one is the eye test. And the other one is a lot of medical questions. Yeah. Um, they're just sort of screening question. I'm not here to make new diagnosis. I'm more about sort of um, making sure that, you know, whatever you uh, health problems you have, you tell me and how you're managing them. Yeah. So it's kind of easy, yeah. okay? okay? So I'm gonna do blood pressure. I also listen to people's chest sometimes. Yeah. Uh, just to make sure that everything is nice and clear. Um, if you have any medication, uh, tablets, or you have to let me know and then we'll, we'll go through the, the form um, afterwards uh, once we finish. Okay, okay? are you yeah. clear with that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna do the eye test to start with, okay? Yeah. So the, that, that desk there is about three meters, exactly three meters from, from the chart there. Yeah. It's called a Snellen chart. So what I want you to do first is, I want you to cover one eye, okay? Where can you read on the chart, the smallest one? All of them. All of them. Can yeah. you read the bottom line? Yeah, uh, G, U, T, X, and F. Okay, can you read the, the one above it, please? Uh, yeah, uh, L, A, O, E, V, K. Okay, can you read the bottom line again from right uh, from left to right? Yeah, O, U, T, X, H, F. Fantastic, okay. Have you got any me problems, medical problems with your eyes at all? No. Have you ever had surgeries on your no. eyes? Okay. Any problems with double vision at all? No. Okay. And have you ever had uh, uh, problems with driving at night time? With what, sorry? Driving at night time, so no. with glare, nothing no. like that, no? Any problems with driving daytime, like bright day like today? No. No. No, used to drive in night time, used to work nights. Fantastic. <laughs> Some people sort of uh, prefer tra traveling at night time, so it's easier as well. So, um. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So, the next bit is the question that I mentioned earlier. So, um, have you got any medical problem at all? In the past, loss of consciousness, brain trauma, uh, sort of head trauma, no. been in a coma, no, nothing, nothing at all. Like no Parkinson's, no TIA, no stroke. No. Fantastic, okay. Have you ever been diagnosed or been told that you've got diabetes? No. Okay, were you born with any heart condition? No. Um, you have you had any operation to your heart? No. Any problems with irregular heartbeats called atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter? No. No, okay. Um, have you ever had problems with uh, uh, um, uh, dilated blood vessels called aneurysm? No. No, okay. Are you on any tablets, medication or inhalers at no. all? Fantastic. And any mental health issues? No. Ever sort of have problems with substance misuse, sort of doing drugs, that no. sort of thing? No. Oh, fantastic. Okay, next is a sleep disorder. When I say sleep disorder, it's like something like sleep apnea, or where you need sort of to use a mask to sleep at night, yeah, to push like airway. Like yeah, so, yeah. 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 Have you ever had no, to no, use no, that? No, so? no. no, so it's fine. I have a problem with narcolepsy. I'm throwing words at you now, so no <laughs> narcolepsy? No. no? No, Any history of cancer? Uh, no. No, okay. Any problems with hearing? I know you've not got any problem with hearing, but I've got to ask that anyway. No, okay. Fine. Any problems with liver or kidney? No. Fantastic. Have you ever been in hospital for any reasons? No. no. Okay. How often do you see your GP? Uh, probably once every 10 years. Once every 10 years. <laughs> Which is good. 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 <laughs> I try not to go to the doctors if I can. Well, help it's them. a good and a sort of. Well, it, there's a positive to negative things as well yeah. for both actually. So uh, if you if you need to go, you need to go. Yeah. So um, I'm going to give this back to you. I'm going to do your blood pressure if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, no worries. Take that. Easy. There we go. So Thanks very much. Any questions so far? No. Nope. Sure? Yeah. No. I want you to just relax your shoulder like that. Yep. Brilliant. So I'm gonna reading like that. I'm gonna feel your pulse as well. Okay. Would it be possible if I just sort of ask you to lean forward? Yeah. Need to listen to your back. Okay. Can I just sort of ask? Yeah. Is that alright? Thank you, sir. Okay. Deep breath in. 
out, again, out, again, out, again. Fantastic. Okay, just, just, okay. And then listen to your heart quickly. Any more questions? No, no, okay, nothing. Okay, so you're clear what to do. So you yep. need to fill, fill in, in all the grey bits. Gray bit, bottom, the front bit, and at the back. Yeah. Today's date, and that's it. Yeah. No question now. No, nope, that's it. Fantastic. Have a good weekend. All right, thank you very Have much. Have a great day. Thank you, much Thanks appreciated. Nice. Goodbye. Bye. It wasn't too bad, to be honest. I actually got worried over nothing. It was quite easy. I have to admit, I was been putting it off, thinking it's just going to be one of these things where they get too in depth into it, but it's actually really easy and nice and simple. It was nothing like what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like a proper, full in depth, like needles in arms and things like that. But it was actually literally really easy, nice and simple questions. I thought they was going to probe me. I'm not going to lie. I actually thought they were going to probe me. I thought it was about average sort of time it took. It didn't take that long. It took a reasonable amount of time, really. If I was to give advice to anyone that wants to get a medical, my advice would be do it. It's worth it. My next part is to send off for my uh, provisional and then crack on with doing my lessons and then get the actual license. And there we have it, it's as deep for drivers are trusted by 5,000 drivers each and every month and they put you, the driver, first. They offer weekend and evening appointments. Save time, save money and book your appointment today.